Hey songwriters, welcome back to the songwriting studio and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at how to get all of Logic's instruments and loops inside of GarageBand for 30 bucks. It's really simple, it just costs you a little bit of money and some time, so let's dive in. All right, so we're here inside of GarageBand and first I'm gonna show you how to get MainStage and how to install the Logic instruments within GarageBand. And then after that, I'm gonna show you all of the instruments that you get with it and all of the loops that you get with it. So you'll know exactly what you're getting if you're trying to decide if it's worth it for you. So number one, you simply have to open the App Store, of course, and then we're gonna type in MainStage. And the newest version is Main Stage 3. You can see I've already purchased it, but normally you would see the price tag of $29.99. And what is Main Stage? Well, basically it's a program that allows you to use your Mac for live music performance. And to do that, it comes with the instruments and with the loops of Logic Pro. So what you would do is purchase Main Stage. You would let it download however long that takes. And then you would go into GarageBand click on the GarageBand drop-down menu, click on Sound Library, and you would hit Reinstall Sound Library. Now, this reinstall could take some time. It's not gonna happen instantly. It may not even happen in an hour or even in a day. So give it some time, let it reinstall, don't mess with it, and then come back the next day, restart GarageBand, maybe restart your computer, and you will actually have all of Logic's instruments and loops within GarageBand for your use. So the way you would access those would be by creating a new software instrument. And then down here at the bottom, you'll see Legacy and you can click on Logic now. So now this is all of the Logic instruments inside a GarageBand, pretty cool, right? So now what I wanna do is just go through each menu and show a little sample of some of the instrumentation here and there so you know what you're getting into. So number one is Logic instruments, which are just some strange little synths and real unique different stuff. I don't honestly use them very often. Then number two is acoustic pianos and you've definitely got some cool sounds in here. So some cool different ones that you can pick from. And then you can go down to basses. There's acoustic basses, more like upright basses than electric basses. And the one I wanna point out from here is called the attitude bass. This bass is sick. It's just a really, really cool sound. It's hard to tell when it's not in context, but it's just very round. It's very round and warm, has such a cool sound. I use that in a project from time to time. Um, then I'll move on down. You've obviously got other options. Then you can move into drums and percussion. You've got acoustic kits, much like the ones you already have in GarageBand. Uh, one I like is the Studio Heavy Kit. Uh, it's just really cool sound. Then you've got a bunch of electronic drum kits and this is one spot for me that is really cool and I feel like gives you a lot of space to work with, a lot of options to work with. There's a, some really cool stuff in here. Uh, and then we'll move on down. You've got keyboards like your clavs and mallets and electric pianos and whatnot. And there's some definitely some cool electric pianos like these Mark IIs I really like. And then some of them have a little tremolo action. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, definitely like those. Then we're gonna move, keep moving on down. And obviously you can see there's a menu for all of these. There's synthesizers, which are used for more typically pop production, electronic produc production. So you've got just all kinds of synths and basses. Just look at all those basses. Um, you can get lost in there. Honestly, you've got pop strings, pop horns. Just let you look at them. You've got guitars, and I will tell you what, the guitars in here are pretty decent, like. They're pretty, pretty decent. And so a couple of unique ones in here are the banjo. I was really pumped when I discovered there was a, a banjo in here because I make a folk song or I produce folk songs from time to time and so I really wanted a banjo. And this one sounds quite good, especially if you hold down the sustain pedal. It sounds pretty good. 
one other one I want to point out is the 12 string acoustic, which I think has a really cool sound. So it's just pretty cool stuff, some pretty cool stuff. It just depends on what you're going for. You've got orchestral stuff, all kinds of uh, orchestral items. Um, one that I will point out is the strings. And I really do like the some of the legato strings. I think they sound really, um, they sound real. They sound really good. definitely use this exact patch um, in quite a few in, in in a few projects here recently um, you've got some choirs you can do some you know choir stuff if you like um, then you've got world which is just all these weird kind of or I wouldn't say weird just unique eclectic sounds that uh, are, are unique to certain uh, parts of the world like a like steel drums is, is a one to note then moving down you've got textures some crazy stuff some of these are actually weird i can use that word then we've got external instruments so i'm just going to leave it at that so basically you have all the instruments of logic inside of GarageBand. and now if i click over here on loops you can see when it populates that i also have all the loops that come with logic now in GarageBand. normally GarageBand comes with something like five or six thousand loops now i have fourteen thousand eight hundred and sixty that's because i now have logics loops also inside of GarageBand. so my last comment on it is don't despise what GarageBand has already given you it's given you some amazing instruments and lots of them so if you're not tapping these out there's definitely no reason to spend the money, get more instruments that you're not going to use. There's tons of great quality instruments right here in GarageBand, but if you're looking to expand your library of instruments and potentially loops, and you don't want to pay $200 to move up to Logic, and you don't want all the extra buttons, you want to stay simple in GarageBand, then MainStage is a really, really fantastic option for you. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as we close, I just wanna answer the question, what is the songwriting studio all about? It's about helping you write and produce better songs from home. And more than that, we wanna empower you to write about the things that matter most in life. We wanna encourage you to go beyond hookup, breakup, and makeup songs and write songs that can really leave an impact on your listener. So if you're writing and recording and producing your own songs from home and you want your songs to leave an impact on your listener, then welcome home. And I would love to invite you to be a part of the songwriting studio family.